we are going to talk about using the Z method for elapsed time. Elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an event to its ending. The Z method is one way to calculate the time that has passed. This method breaks down the minutes to the nearest hour. So let's take a look at this word problem. Jason Brindley arrive at a birthday party at 3.15 p.m. They leave the party at 6.11 p.m. How long did they stay at the birthday party? We are going to begin with the start time of 3.15. So I'm going to record 3.15 here at this endpoint. Then I'm going to jump to the next hour that is the closest to 315. So I'm going to slide or jump all the way to this endpoint here and I'm going to record 4 o'clock because that is the nearest hour um, from 315. Now I'm going to jump or slide to the hour of the end time. So let's look at the end time, 611. I'm not going to record the 611. I just want the hour of the end time, which would be six o'clock. So at this end point, I record six o'clock. Now, I'm going to jump to the end time. The end time is the total now of the whole hour and minute. So here I will record 611. So I come all the way to this end point here and I record the 611. Now that I got my times recorded, I can find out how much time has elapsed from each end point. So from 3.15 to 4 o'clock, I know that that is 45 minutes. From 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, I know that is 2 hours. Remember to always put your labels because you will be adding hours and minutes at the end and you don't want to get confused and mix them up. So from 6 o'clock to 6.11, that is 11 minutes that has elapsed. So now that I have my times all on my Z, I'm going to take my hours and minutes and I'm going to add them up together. I like to use a T-chart here that is labeled with hours and minutes to separate the hours with the minutes. So I'm going to record the first minutes that I have recorded on my uh, Z. It's 45 minutes. Then I record the two hours. And last, I record the 11 minutes. Now I'm going to add up the minutes that I have together. This is going to give me 56 minutes. Another reason I like to use this T-chart is because when I add up my minutes, if it equals 60 or more, I'm going to have to convert my minutes to hours. But because it's only 56 minutes, which is under the 60, I don't need to worry about converting anything to hours. So here I have no more hours to add. So I have two hours and 56 minutes and go back to my question. How long did they stay at the birthday party? Two hours and 56 minutes. This is how you use the Z method for elapsed time. I hope to help. Thanks.